Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to iCode. Today we'll be looking into Playgrounds in Xcode. Xcode has really got a great feature called uh, Playgrounds, which actually uh, allows us to run small snippets of code immediately without actually waiting for the simulator to boot up every time. So yeah, it's a great feature. That's a great way to play with the bits of code. And we're gonna be using Playgrounds for our upcoming videos. So let's see what is it. Open up Xcode and create a new playground and let's name it Play FNAF. Next and save it on desktop. So this is what a playground looks like and we have got reasonably familiar Swift code here. On the left side you can see the variables, this editable code on the left side. And on the right, you can actually uh, see the value of any variable that has been created. So here we have got a variable str, which is equal to hello playground. And that is what you see here. And at the bottom, this white space, this is nothing but a console where you can display something. For example, you can print I code. And that is what you see here. What happens if you print Swift and you see Swift? You must be wondering what is this slash n character? This is but nothing but a new line. That is, iCode has created this particular thing has created a new line, and that is the reason why you see this Swift underneath the iCode, not just beside iCode. And that is what a new line character does. So this is our playgrounds guys, we will be using playgrounds in our upcoming videos and in the next video I will be telling you about variables in Swift 3. So thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and see you in another video. If you have got any doubt, comment down below, I will respond as fast as I can. See you.